Hi everybody, it's Philip at NYC Music Services, back with another tutorial. This one's about Rewire, which is a technology used in Sibelius 6, the latest version of Sibelius. Rewire is made by Propellerheads, and it allows MIDI applications to sync up with one another very easily. And uh, right now we're using Logic, which is of course the Apple uh, flagship sequencer. Uh, this also works in Cubase, in Digital Performer as well. But uh, for the moment, we're going to use Logic and Sibelius. So the first thing you want to be sure of is that Sibelius is actually not running. And we'll get into that more in a second. But first, uh, with Logic actually open, uh, what we want to do is add in the mixer a new auxiliary channel strip. And uh, what that is going to do is actually uh, open up a new um, channel in Logic. Uh, that is the Sibelius channel, and that's under the input menu. It's under Sibelius. This will show up automatically as long as you have Sibelius properly installed and Rewire properly installed. So we're going to create that uh, channel strip, and you see here, here it appears in the mixer. I'm actually just going to go ahead and rename it Sibelius. What that does is tells Logic to listen for Sibelius and actually play it through the sequencer as if it was just another audio track. Uh, it will also actually enable Sibelius and Logic to be synced up via MIDI. So now with that all set up, I want to go ahead and actually launch Sibelius. And um, the reason you want to wait until your uh, uh, rewire is set up in Sibelius is because if you don't do that, if you don't set up uh, the sequencer first and you have Sibelius running, Sibelius will actually not open in rewire mode and therefore you won't actually be able to have the two applications talk to one another. How can you be sure that Sibelius is open in rewire mode? Well, uh, you'll see here I'm just going to open up the uh, demo file that I've created for this uh, tutorial. And in the playback window, you see this little icon here. That's the rewire symbol. It tells us that uh, Sibelius and uh, Logic are actually, in fact, running in rewire mode. So that's great. So in fact, how can I tell this even further? Well, I just move this playback indicator and look at this. Both in Sibelius and Logic, they move together. Two, three, four, five, six, and so on. The bar numbers are all synced up. Same thing with Logic. If I move the uh, playback line in Logic, look at this. The, there's the playback line in Sibelius. You can see it going, uh, syncing up very, very nicely. So, so that's really handy. All right. That's nice. So how can you use this practically? Well, say for instance you have a chart in Logic that you, know, you need to orchestrate using the powerful notation features in Sibelius. Moreover, if you want to use Sibelius's playback features in your sequencer. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to do just to kind of test this out is get my, whoops, get my mixer open again here in um, in Logic and just going to solo the Sibelius track for the moment just so I can hear it make sure everybody's playing back correctly so we're going to play back nice and that was just purely the Sibelius playback using the default Sibelius sounds well, now I'm going to go ahead and unsolo that in my mixer here in Logic, and now I'm going to hear the whole mix together. And you can see here I've got all my MIDI channels uh, that were in the original uh, chart that I was to orchestrate in Sibelius, as well as an audio MP3, and that's going to be mixed together with the Sibelius sounds. Uh, listen to this. Again, this is really useful, say if you have a lot of sample libraries that you actually like using in Sibelius, you can actually send those via rewire to your sequencer and then control the mix further there. You can bounce them out using uh, other samples in your sequencer. It really makes the whole process much more flexible and easy and opens up a range of possibilities. So anyway, that's a brief summary of using rewire with Logic and Sibelius. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks again for watching.